Hi, I'm Nicole Crane. And I'm Kevin Condon. We're ABI's public policy team, and we want to talk a little bit about the statewide races that Iowa voters will have the opportunity to uh, cast a ballot for in November. Starting with the governor, uh, Governor Terry Branstad is the current governor of Iowa. He's a Republican. He is going for um, to be the longest serving governor in the, in the country, and he will be facing uh, current state senator Jack Hatch, who's from the city of Des Moines. Um, in the November election. Both of those candidates won their election, uh, their primary, very easily. Uh, Jack Hatch did not have a, an opponent on the ballot. Uh, Governor Branstad did have a candidate on the ballot against him, but I think they only secured maybe 15% of the primary vote. Uh, there are a couple other statewide races that are up this year. One is the Auditor of State. Uh, Dave Vout left, resigned to go serve on a national board. So Governor Branstad appointed Mary Moseman she is now running for a full term, and she has an opponent, Jonathan Niederbach, who is uh, living in the Des Moines area, but he uh, went to college in Grinnell, and uh, it'll be interesting. I think right now, uh, one would think that race does lean uh, Republican. Uh, Mary Mosman is a, uh, is a CPA. Dave Vout, the, her predecessor, was also a CPA, and that's something that the Iowa voters seem to, seem to like in their auditor. Another race is um, Secretary of State. Yeah, so Secretary of State is an interesting one. Of course, current Secretary of State Matt Schultz um, is uh, giving up that uh, position to, or, or gave up that position to run for uh, the 3rd Congressional District seat, which uh, threw that open. Um, we have a, a return to politics uh, from a gentleman named Paul Pate uh, from the Cedar Rapids area, actually held the office of Secretary of State prior uh, to this in the 90s. Um, uh, so again, someone who's well familiar with the office uh, and what the office does, and, and probably an approach to the business community as far as uh, what that uh, what that office holder can do. On the Democrat side, we have Brad Anderson, who's a uh, former political operative, been involved mostly in uh, the uh, political side uh, on campaigns, uh, has worked for Senator Harkin, worked for uh, President Obama uh, in the previous two election cycles. Um, so we expect this race to be very competitive. Brad's been the uh, focus of some national uh, press stories here recently. So again, this one will be a, a race to watch here in Iowa. One race that hasn't probably gotten a lot of attention is S Secretary of Agriculture. Uh, Bill Northey is the incumbent. He's a Republican from Northwest Iowa. Um, there is a Democrat on the ballot. I think her name is Sherry Taha or Teha. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm not scoring any points for enunciating her name uh, or pronouncing her name properly, but that race, from everything I've seen and, and some of the turnout, is that seems to be a pretty safe Republican seat as well. That it won't be a lot of competition for the secretary. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, secretary Northey is usually one of the top uh, vote getters uh, in in the in the general election, so um, I think that certainly is is tilting in his favor. A couple of races that. Um, were supposed to have been uh, unopposed seats for the Attorney General's race and the uh, Treasurer of State. Um, we are uh, under the impression that there uh, it's going to be a movement towards some uh, convention-nominated candidates on the Republican side to challenge uh, current Attorney General Tom Miller and uh, current Treasurer uh, Mike Fitzgerald. So, uh, Nicole, well, and like uh, Governor Brand said, isn't. Attorney General Tom Miller and uh, Treasurer Mike Fitzgerald, aren't they some of the longest serving uh, individuals in that position within among their states or among the states? Yeah, exactly. Uh, both uh, Attorney General Tom Miller and, and Treasurer Fitzgerald um, first were elected to those positions in the 80s, uh, have been around for a long time. Uh, Tom Miller had a gap in between there, a four-year gap in between their, uh, his service, but uh, certainly uh, uh, we've got some, as far as the statewide positions are held, um, Iowans tend to stick with, with the incumbents. So Sounds like it could be an uphill battle for uh, whoever is written in for those two races, but I do know that one of the write-in candidates for the Attorney General is a former uh, staff person for Governor Branstad. I'm sure that they'll all be out on the campaign trail together in the coming months, and so perhaps his, um, his affiliation with Governor Branstad will, uh, depending on what the election looks like, will either help or, or hurt him. Definitely. It'd be an interesting race to uh, uh, kind of uh, highlight the differences, I guess, between the two as far as uh, Tom Miller, who's been in that position for a long time, and, and, and Adam Gregg, who is uh, certainly a, a fresh face in the in the uh, political spectrum. So, Well, sounds like as we get closer to Election Day, we'll be hearing a lot more on, on those races um, that we talked about, but most of them uh, seem to be safe for those that are currently in the position, with the exception, I would say, of the Secretary of State being probably the most competitive at this time. 
Indeed. Absolutely. Right. Sounds good. Stay tuned.